Tonight, Lyme disease cases are on the rise in East Tennessee. That's according to doctors and researchers at UT. Last year, the health department says 26 cases of Lyme disease were reported statewide. This year, they're already at 25. Now, Lyme disease is commonly transmitted by the black legged tick. That tick wasn't in East Tennessee until 2006, first showing up in Knox County just a few years ago in 2013. None of those ticks tested were found to carry Lyme disease until just a couple years ago. Hannah Middleton seems like your average 25 year old until you look in her medicine cabinet. Honestly, I feel like I'm much older than even twice my age. What she thought was just the stress of wedding planning turned out to be the symptoms of Lyme disease. She got her diagnosis in December. I have to be very gentle with my body and treat it like it's really fragile. Middleton says the disease had been in her body unknown for a few years, but she's not sure how it got there. I don't remember being bitten by a tick. I don't remember seeing the bullseye rash that a lot of people talk about. Um, I just remember realizing that something was wrong. Black legged ticks infected with Lyme disease are now living across East Tennessee. I'll have to be very vigilant and make sure that I'm covered in bug spray when I go outside. UT Medical Center is seeing an increase in cases. One doctor says he saw two new Lyme disease cases just last week. It gives me a little bit of hope that maybe people in the future who have this and are looking for answers will be able to find them easier. That trend is backed up by UT researcher Dr. Graham Hickling, who found Lyme infected black legged ticks in Anderson, Union and Claiborne counties. He notes it's possible these ticks could slowly be invading our area. Middleton hopes some good could come from this. There does seem to be more information coming out about it and more doctors that are concerned about their communities who might be um, overrun with Lyme disease. Right now in our area, Rocky Mountain spotted fever is the much more common tick-borne illness, but researchers are urging health officials to be more vigilant for the symptoms of Lyme disease.